Hi, welcome to my channel. This is Kauser Wise, and this is the continuation video of solving previous year university question paper. That is November 2022 financial management. In that, we are going to solve section B five mark questions and section C ten mark questions. Okay, you can find the playlist link in the description box. Now, in this video, we are going to solve section B payback period method under capital budgeting. Now, let's get into the video. See the problem. A project cost 20 lakhs and yield annual a profit of rupees 3 lakhs after depreciation at 10 percentage but before tax 50 percentage. Calculate payback period. Okay. So here they have given the project cost 20 lakhs and annual profit 3 lakhs after depreciation but before tax. With this information they are asking us to calculate payback period. Now let's see the solution. See the solution. What is the formula to find out payback period? Initial investment divided by CFAT. Initial investment given in the problem. See the problem. A project cost 20 lakhs. This is initial investment. Okay. Now we need to calculate CFAT. CFAT stands for cash flow after tax but before depreciation. Again I repeat. CFAT stands for cash flow after tax but before depreciation but in the problem they have given 3 lakhs profit after depreciation at 10 percentage but before tax 50 percentage so we need to calculate profit after tax but before depreciation okay now let's see the calculation of cfat see the solution statement showing cfat okay the profit which is given in the problem is 3 lakhs profit after depreciation but before tax 3 lakh so what we have to do after depreciation only we will subtract tax so minus how much 50 percentage tax no so 50 percentage tax 3 lakhs into 50 percentage 1 lakh 50 thousand balance 1 lakh 50 thousand this is profit after tax But CFAT stands for cash flow after tax but before depreciation. So what we have to do? We need to add back the depreciation which is already subtracted. Okay, they have given 3 lakhs after depreciation of 10 percentage, right? So we need to add the depreciation in order to find out CFAT. Okay, so add depreciation. So how much 10 percentage on? The original cost 20 lakhs into 10 percentage. This is the depreciation value 20 lakhs into 10 percentage 2 lakhs. So this is profit after tax plus depreciation. So total 3 lakh 50 thousand. This is CF80 that is. Cash flow after tax but before depreciation. Now we can substitute this value in the formula to find out payback period. The formula is initial investment divided by CF80. So initial investment how much? 20 lakhs. 20 lakhs divided by CF80 how much? 3 lakh 50 thousand. Is equal to 5.7. So 5 years. 7 months. So the payback period is 5 years 7 months. So this is the way to calculate payback period. Hope you like this video. Please hit the like, comment, subscribe and share with your friends. Thank you.